Stevenson falls to Mary Washington, Glenn Clark with Tessa Boswell. Tessa, uh, one of the kind of the few bright spots today. It, it, maybe we just draw up every play moving forward for you to be shooting the ball at the end of the shot clock. Is that just something that's kind of like ice in your veins, in your blood, that you know you got to toss them up there? Um, well, I know being the leading scorer, some of the younger ones look to me to shoot the ball for the last second when that's coming up. So I know like during practice, I have to take the leadership role to take that last shot, whether it's open or not. So. Is it something that you've always done? Has it always kind of been in your nature to be the one taking those shots? Uh, not really. Not last year. <laughs> I kind of had to jump in into it this year. So. And obviously, you've been comfortable in a lot of those spots. Tessa, let's talk about th this team. And I know it's been a bit of a struggle of late. Where do you see the opportunities? Like, where are the areas to say, hey, if we could just improve in these areas, I think that we can really get on a roll here as we get back into conference play? Um, I think we work really hard in practice. So, and we're just really young, but I feel like that's not really an excuse anymore. But uh, we work hard, and I think our passes just like we turn down our turnovers a little bit. So, that's good. Um, Right now, we've been really focusing on like the defensive side or whatever, and now like our shots aren't falling. But the shots will come back. I'm not really worried about it. Um, so I think moving forward, we still need to focus on defense because defense wins games. So <laughs> I get that. Uh, I wonder for you. We, we obviously we know your mom. We know your sister's gotten into coaching. Like, do you find yourself in practice? Do you have like coaching inclinations? Do you find yourself ever like, oh gosh, I'm acting like a coach right now? Do you ever find yourself like that? Um. Uh, I like to say I don't, but <laughs> I mean, when someone asks a question, I'm going to answer it. I mean, since we're so young, we have our team are freshmen, so they all come walking up to us and they're asking questions and you have to answer them because they're just trying to learn just like we tried to learn last year, but we're just all young. So it's I understand. <laughs> I understand. All right, let's get to the important stuff. Uh, we, I, I have learned over the last month that you are the most artistic member of your family. I've heard about your uh, dominance in the annual holiday gingerbread house building championship. Where did your artistic side come from and how do you take the gingerbread house to the next level moving forward? Uh, listen, I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> Maybe it was my dad because he's a big construction guy. I don't know. but. The other four, they just don't stand a chance. I don't know. Just, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do next year, though. I, you got it. <laughs> somehow you gotta raise the game. It's out there. You gotta keep it going. Yeah. All right, Tessa. Appreciate. It. I know it's not easy to do these after loss, but appreciate you coming and spending a couple of minutes with us. And best of luck as you head back out on the road. All right. Thank you. It's Tessa Boswell. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.